Hello everyone and welcome and this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the week of August 7th through the 13th of 2023. And at this time I would like to thank everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow as well as those who have been watching my videos and giving them a thumbs up letting me know that you've enjoyed them. Thank you for doing that. Your first card out is the magician. Yay! You know, you're definitely charging ahead on something. You're very focused on succeeding and winning and moving mountains to make what you want in your life happen. And you're realizing the potential of all your moves are going to give you rewards and dividends at the end so you're definitely taking your own advice you're clearing you know the slate and you're moving forward with your life and the two of cups well there you are a little bit of nostalgia maybe an old friend or somebody you've tracked down or they've tracked you down and you're having a bit of get together maybe you had a crush on each other at one time or maybe not at all you were just really good friends and you're realizing that you know, it has the potential to maybe be a little bit more. So you're quite enjoying this. And the nine of rods. Look at you. You've been through the gauntlet. And you've come out on top. You know, you're very capable. You're solid. You stand your ground. You stand behind your word. And anybody who knows you knows that. And whatever you decide to take under your wing... You make it grow and prosper as well as yourself. Ooh, look at you, the star card. You're believing in yourself. You're starting to feel a breath of fresh air and relief in your life. You're realizing that your sole purpose here is not just written in stone. It's written in the stars and it is to achieve your goals and freedom and happiness moving forward. You have some really big dreams that you're bringing about. And look at that. Ten of Pentacles. There you go. Inheritance. New beginnings. Making sure you have a legacy as you leave. You know, helping your children. Helping people around you. There's definitely money here. Now, whether you inherit it from somebody you know or don't know. But you're getting a leg up. And you're not owing it back it's just happening because you're you and you're going to put it forth into you know good business deals trust funds and for some cases some of you are actually going to buy yourself a home and you know the possibilities are endless once this comes for you and the empress look at you you're abundant, you're fertile, you know, whatever you start that you want to begin, you know, you're giving it all you got because it just makes you feel good to do that. You know, you have such good potential here of all gains in your life and you know that's where you want to go going forward. And, you know, for some of you, this is a very fertile time. So if you're not, you know, into having a new addition to your family, you might want to take precautions about that and make sure that, you know, it's not going to come about. Or for some of you, this could be a new fur baby coming into your family, something that you just love. You just, you know, doesn't always have to be human. You just, you know, I have a fur baby myself and I just love her to pieces. So, you know, the capability of loving other things is doable and it just makes you happy you know you're starting new projects you're moving yourself forward you know you're fulfilling your dreams and you have the backing to do it <laughs> and the page of pentacles look at you move your opportunities are knocking and you are opening those doors to receiving and once they're in you're closing them behind you as quick as you can so they can't get away again <laughs> you're quite happy to do that and the eight of pentacles look at you hard at work determined very determined in every aspect moving forward you know what you want to do you know what you got to do to get it and you're just 
got your head down and you're moving along. Now, if you're taking a course of interest for yourself, you're going to pass it with flying colors. You know, this is uh, a major shift in your income, your status ability. You know, you're starting over with such vigor and, you know, the world is opening up to beginner's luck. Like it's just going to flow. Things are going to come to you naturally. You know, where you thought that you might have a hard time studying or doing something, you don't. You just already know it. You're not quite sure how, and you're grateful that it happens, but you're going through it with flying colors. And the Page of Cups. So, new romance on offer here for some of you. You know, and this could be, like I said, a friendship that's turning into a little bit more. Maybe somebody that you've known for a very long time, you know, or knew about for a long time, and they sort of suddenly come into your uh, vision and you're just moving along you're happy you're standing by the water you're you know you're overflowing with all aspects and you do that naturally so it's quite understandable that people are attracted to you you just always have a smile on your face you never show you know that you're not happy or you're down and out you know you just always have that persona about you that nothing in this world gets you down. And the Ten of Swords. Huh? And that's okay because that is done over with and gone out of your life, never to be rekindled or rethought of ever again. You know, something uh, happened in your life uh, comes to a painful conclusion and you know this is a friendship or a relationship the passion is definitely done you're no longer you know putting time or effort into this and you're letting it go out of your life and you're okay with it you know you're going to shut that door behind you and you're not going to give it a second thought because it was a betrayal that left a mark and nobody needs that And the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. Beautiful. Love that card. That and the Ten, boy, they're probably my best two favorite cards. <laughs> ten of Cups and Ten of uh, Pentacles. But, you know, because, you know, your Nine is your Wish Fulfillment. Your creative projects, ideas are getting off the ground. You know, you're just at the right place at the right time. And you're, you've got the green light. You know, you're moving forward. You have all the momentum in the world. There's nothing stopping you from going forward. And I like that. And the world card. Beautiful. You definitely come to something in your life that is done, over with, and you're finished. And you're moving into a totally new time in your life going forward you're content you're happy you're starting over but you're starting over with knowledge and money and you know good friends and just life has gotten so much more brighter for you so that is such beauty and you're comfortable and you don't have to worry anymore and the page of swords so most definitely, you know, yes, there's a disagreement here. There always will be, but it's a blowout that needed to happen. And, you know, this can be a relative. It doesn't always have to be in a relationship. It can be a friend, you know, um, a lover in some cases, but something has showed you the potential of what they really are. And you are just not going to deal with that. So you're going to deal with them instead. And it's it's fair. You're realizing that you have a voice. And, you know, you're not going to be cruel about it. But you're going to point out to them that you're quite aware of what's happening. And it's non-acceptable. And either it gets dealt with and stops. Or you will deal with them in your own means. Which means you'll just cut them out if, you know your way and just keep yourself moving happy. All right, I am going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card, but you have all kinds of new beginnings, new romance, many opportunities. 
for moving up the corporate ladder, more money coming in for you, more stability. And for some of you, it looks like there's a home on the horizon. So what a beautiful week. All right. You are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon the angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. Perfect. <laughs> and on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Remember to subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you again next week. And bye for now.